Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about standard form and how easy it is to use. Okay, so standard form is all about writing very, very big numbers or very, very small numbers in the same way. So let's take an example. We've got something like 82 and then 5000000. And you and I would probably say that's 82,500,000. And that's perfectly fine. The difficulty comes with standard form when the numbers are a little bit bigger. So let's have a look at, say, another three zeros on the end of it. Okay. Well, the way that we write that is we look at the numbers at the very front and then we make them between one and 10. Okay, let me give you a better example. So I've got eight, two, five, and I'm gonna write those digits down as eight, two, five. And what I need to do is to put the decimal point in such a place that these three digits become between one and 10. And I'm gonna put that decimal point there. So 8.25 is between one and 10. And then all I need to do is to tell the person who's reading the number how many places I've moved the decimal point. So it was there and I've moved it once, twice, three times, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So the way I would write it is like that. So what I'm saying is this number has had its decimal point moved by 10 different jumps. Okay, and you can see if I wanted to write this number out again, all I would do is I'd write 825 and then all of the zeros to make this number the same as it is originally. Okay, so this particular method of writing standard form or the way that we write numbers is great because if I, for instance, had another three zeros at the end of that, I could just make that 13. Likewise, it also works for very small numbers as well. So let's say I had 0.00000. .00000 seven zero three so i'm going to use exactly the same idea i'm going to take my digits and don't get confused between this zero in the middle here i'm just going to take the digits of the number and i'm going to put my decimal point in the middle because then that becomes a number between one and ten so seven point zero three and then i'm just going to tell the reader how far i've moved the decimal point i've moved the decimal point once twice three, four, five times, 10 to the power of five. Now, the only thing that remains with this is that rather than moving the decimal point in this direction, I've moved it in this direction. So I've got to tell people I've done that and I put simply a minus there. 7.03 times 10 to the power of minus five is exactly the same as this number here. I hope that's been okay for you. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to multiply standard form and really why this is such a very powerful way of writing numbers. Please do add a comment, like, and subscribe to the site, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.